Project Browser side window provides access to all of the saved views, details, schedules, and materials lists saved within an open plan, and all of the pages and tables saved within an open layout. The Project Browser can be turned on by clicking View, Project Browser, and by default it will be docked to the right side of the program window. There are some differences to the Project Browser when we are using Chief Architect Project Management and when we are not. We can determine if we are using project management or not by the appearance or absence of the buttons next to the filter text field. Project management has the buttons for sorting and advanced search. If you do not see these buttons on the filters panel of the project browser, you are not using Chief Architect project management. In this video, we'll discuss the project browser outside of project management first, because this first set of features is available in both scenarios. At the top of the project browser, we have a filter where we can use text queries to find views, details, and lists stored within any open plan or layout file. Inside the plan, we see the folders which store the views for the plan. A CAD detail is a two-dimensional space where we can draw details or store notes for our project. This CAD details folder is where these details are organized. We can right-click the CAD details folder to create new CAD details or create folders within to organize the details that we have created. If we right-click on a detail directly, we'll have the options to Open View, which opens the CAD detail so we can modify what is there, Edit View, which opens the CAD detail specification dialog, where we can choose defaults for that view, Delete, Update Preview, which is what is shown on the preview panel of the project browser, Send to Layout, Duplicate, Copy, Cut, and we would also see paste if we had already copied or cut a detail. In the cameras folder, any saved full or overview camera can be located. Some subfolders are created automatically, overviews and floor levels. We can create additional folders by right-clicking the cameras folder and choosing new folder, but we'll not be able to create subfolders within the auto-generated overviews and floor level folders. If we create a folder at the camera's level, we can then pull views from the auto-generated folders into the custom folder. We can identify the custom folder by the fact that it does not have the Chief Architect logo on it. The cross-sections folder contains cross-sections, back-clipped cross-sections, exterior elevations, and wall elevations that you've created and saved. We can organize these views by right-clicking and creating new folders. Floor Levels is a folder that shows how many floor levels we have in the plan. The Materials List folder contains any materials lists or reports that we have saved. The Plan Views folder shows us the different saved plan views that we have in our plan. In addition to organizing these into folders, we can also create new saved plan views through the right-click menu. If we have a schedule anywhere in our plan, we can use this folder to locate it in the Schedules folder. Wall Details When we generate wall framing, Chief Architect will create a wall detail showing us the assembly of the framing for every wall that has framing. We can use these details to modify the assembly, add dimensions, and annotate. Inside the layout, we see folders for CAD details, pages, and tables. Similar to plan CAD details, this location can be used to store two-dimensional notes and details. Every page in our layout can be found in the Pages folder. In most cases, page 0 is our only page template. We can see what pages are templates by the icon having a T on it. Any page that has content written to it directly will have this tiny plan icon on it. Conversely, any pages that have nothing written to it will be empty. Similar to the Schedules folder for plans, the Tables folder for the layout contains links to any layout page tables or revision tables that we've added to this layout. When we have an item selected in the project browser, we can see information about the project, plan, or layout listed on the details panel. This includes information such as created and modified dates, file size, and what folders or tags are being used. Also, many items in the project browser will generate a preview image, which can be seen if we have the preview panel turned on. Everything we've discussed up to now have applied to both traditional file management and Chief Architect project management. In this next section, we'll discuss features that are only available when using Chief Architect Project Management. 
When we're using Chief Architect Project Management, we have the opportunity to have many projects, each containing multiple plans and layouts, in our project browser. Since Chief Architect maintains the links between these files for us, we have some additional options to take advantage of this behavior. When Chief Architect manages our projects, plans and layout files for a build are bundled into a project folder, and we'll see the project folders for all of our projects in the project browser all at once. In addition to the views, details, and lists we can filter for, we can also use this filter to search our projects and additional files. By default, projects will sort alphabetically. To the right of the filter, we have the ability to change to sorting the list by name, date created, date modified, or by size. To the right of that, we have an advanced search where we can filter the list more granularly. If we right-click on a project, we can choose to pin it to the top of the list regardless of sorting technique. Above our list of projects, we have a common documents and templates. As you can likely guess, the Plan and Layout Templates folder contains plan and layout templates that Chief Architect provides or that you have created. This gray overlay icon indicates which ones are designated in our preferences. Right-clicking on this folder, we can see options for creating folders, importing additional templates, and exporting templates. Right-clicking on an individual template file gives us an option for Open, which gives us the choice of editing the template or creating a new project from the template. Rename, replace with, make a copy, use as default, export, and delete. The Common Documents folder is where you can collect and store files you want to refer back to frequently that are not project-specific. This is also the only area where we can store a plan that links to multiple projects. Be careful, though, if we update a detail from a plan stored in Common Documents that is referenced in multiple projects, all projects referencing that detail will be updated as well. Inside a project, we can create new folders to organize multiple plan and layout files. We can also import supplemental files like PDFs and site images that are project-specific that we want to keep track of. When we have a plan or layout open, the project folder, the file that is open, and any files that link to the open file, as well as the views that you have open within the file, will show a green overlay icon, so you know what Chief Architect has loaded into memory. At the bottom of the project browser, we can toggle between seeing all projects or only the projects we currently have open. We also have the option to show the default documents, which are the common documents and the plan and layout templates. If we click on the cogwheel, we can choose which panels are displayed in the project browser. Let's turn on folders. These folders allow us to refine a workflow or enhance organization. For example, we can create a folder to contain all active projects, folders for different builders, or a folder for completed projects. We can add a folder by clicking this green plus sign. We can right-click on a project to add it to a folder, or we can click and drag a project into the folder. When we click on a folder, it will filter the project browser to show the content of that folder. Clicking on the folder name in the Filters area removes the filter, showing all projects again. If we right-click on a folder, we can add a project to the folder, create subfolders, rename, change the color, or delete the folder. Lastly, clicking this button will show all projects that are not assigned a folder, making it easier to find the unorganized file.